Hi friends, it's Sarah from rafflesandrainboots.com and today I'm making some holiday gnome stockings. They are so easy to make and if you would like to make them, boop and boop, just stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here crafting with me. So I'm going to be making three, one man and two women. And I'm going to show you how to do both of these in the video. But I wanted to let you know the newsletter sign up that everybody loves, the coupons, the freebies, it's down below. So I'm going to be starting off with pre-made Target dollar spot stockings. They're red and white in my theme and I happen to find three of them. I'm also going to be using gray felt in two sheets and this faux leather ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using one inch wood rounds, uh, some scissors, an X-Acto knife, a glue gun, this cutting mat, and faux fur. I'm going to use it both for the boy and for the girls. So the first thing is just to take off this tassel because I'm going to use it again. This is a really full tassel, but you could use a pom-pom or a bell or a tag, anything you'd like. Removing all of the stickers and tags, I'm just going to figure out the width of my cut. So I'm just going to figure out, I want it to go over the top of my um, open stocking, but I want it to be full. So I'm going to fold over my cut here. So now I have this, it's actually two, right? But it's got this fold over. So right where the uh, stocking breaks, I'm going to round that edge off. And I'm on the other side, I'm going to round down and hit this portion that I'm going to be making into the tassel holder. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. Every stocking is going to be different. Um, I just thought it'd be cute with a little folded over hat. If you have a fleece fabric or a minky fabric, that would be really cute too. You could make a long tail hat with a tassel at the end. But you can see how it's gonna fit here and I'm just gonna build all of my little guy right here. So the first thing is I just need to measure the width of the faux fur. In order to coat faux fur, you're just going to use an X-Acto knife or a razor blade and just cut the fur backing. You see how no fur transferred? That's because we're only cutting the backing. So we're gonna find the middle and then we're just gonna do either do a U or a V, whatever you would prefer, and we're just gonna fold over the other side, match it up, and cut the rest of the way. Once you learn how to cut faux fur, it's an expensive material, but once you learn how to cut it, it's so nice because you don't waste it. The look of this particular Mongolian fur can be changed with the simple brushing with a cat brush or a comb. So um, just explore and see what you like if you're using this Mongolian. All right, so I'm just going to glue this right to the inside edge of the back of my hat. I'm gonna split the fur to its fabric backing so that I can attach a gnome nose. And I'm just gonna do that by figuring out where it should be when I roll over my hat, and then adding a generous portion of hot glue to the fabric backing before pressing the wood round into that glue. I'm just gonna brush this out of the way, and then we're going to start assembling the rest of our hat. So we're actually gonna start with the tassel end. So you can see I'm gonna put glue on the outside edge of this little triangle, and then I'm just gonna put the tassel right on top and just sort of sandwich it. So you may need stuffing in this part of your hat. My tassel strings were really thick, so I didn't. But then I'm just gonna go around the rest of the hat and secure all the edges. So don't press too hard. We just want the glue to adhere. We don't want like this huge dark seam or anything. This is just regular craft felt. It's not the fancy stuff. <laughs> All right, so once you've got one side done, you're going to stuff it and then start securing the front of the hat. So you just add a little hot glue, make sure it's pulled all the way even, and then press down the front of it right onto the nose. Secure it all the way around the rest of the way on the bottom, and then leave that side open so we can stuff a little bit more polyfill in here. And then you know what's coming. You just secure this uh, open edge like a little sandwich or a pita. Oh, now I want Greek food. Okay, so now we're just going to place it right onto our stocking, lining everything up, adding hot glue to the front of our stocking, and pressing it all down. That's it. You're like almost done with this guy. <laughs> the girl is a little more involved because I made an apron, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. They look really cute without the little aprons. All right, so I'm just going to secure the entire hat down here and then I'm also going to raise up the bottom of that faux fur, or, excuse me, <clears throat> bottom of the faux fur beard and glue that down as well. Everybody likes to tug on the beard. 
give him a little brushing and then set him aside and make the girls. All right, so again, we're gonna start the same way. Remove the tags, remove the tassel, go grab our felt craft sheet, and then make the cuts for our hat again. Before we do that, I wanna show you what I did. Now this is just uh, this faux leather ribbon. It came on a roll from Hobby Lobby and I just cut it about six inches wide and four inches deep. Again, this is gonna depend on your stocking. And then I'm just gonna take a very thick needle an embroidery thread and I'm just going to put a running stitch all along the top edge so that I can pull it tight to make it look sort of like a skirt. So we're gonna skip to the end of that there because I'm really bad at <laughs> sewing. And then I'm going to put the sides up, like make a little seam because you could see the yellow backing and I didn't like that. <laughs> you may not need to do this. If you have a thick wired ribbon, that also would make a really good skirt. All right, so I'm just getting a size, mini, um, size for it here, and then I'm going to make the apron um, straps, and to do that, I just cut two sets. So I have two that I'm making, so I cut a two inch wide piece and then cut each one inch into half inches, and that gave me my apron strap. All right, for my pigtails or ponytails, I just cut um, about an inch for each one and then whatever length you want, and then I put them to a point. So that's gonna help the bottom of them really come together. Give them a quick brushing and then I just tied the ends with some twine. It's like red and white striped twine after I secured the backing with this hot glue. So I wanted to make sure you couldn't see the fabric backing of the ponytails. And so this solves that problem and it gives it a really great solid place to attach your ponytails to your stocking. So I'm going to line up everything so that these look good when they're hanging. So I line the top of the stockings up and then I'm going to start adhering everything. I do end up just securing these strings so that nothing ever comes undone. And I'm going to start measuring my hat based on the little boy hat that I had. So that way they all match. And you can decorate them differently, but I just think this looked good for our house, the uniform hat look. So with everything still matched up, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the little girl by starting with her nose, then putting down the apron straps, and then adding on her ponytails. So I did have them pointing outward from over her nose, but you can do whatever you'd like. I wanted to still see the apron straps, and that's why I did that. All right, and now I'm secure the top of the apron only, or top of the skirt, I mean only, right up under her ponytails and over the top of the apron straps. I did secure the seams down, but I didn't wrap them around the entire stocking so that it could still expand. Well, you know, when you put stuff in it. And then for the hat, I'm just gonna do it exactly the same way as I did the boys. And yes, I did change glue guns halfway through this project. Um, this glue gun is an amazing glue gun, but it runs wicked hot. Um, so just Kobiz. Cobiz knows their stuff. All right, so a little bit different for the girl stocking hat is the back. So you're going to need to cut out a little bit of a nose pocket, which I don't know what that's really called, that's what I'm calling it, and then secure everything around that nose pocket because we need to make sure we didn't have a huge layer of fabric over her nose. So then we're just going to do it exactly the way we did the other, stuff it a little bit, put down all of your edges, and then attach it to the front of our little girl stocking. Same way, we're just gonna make sure that we line up that little nose pocket. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. The nose pocket and secure the entire hat all the way around. And then look, here's two. And then I turned off the camera and made a third one. And if you find one, let me know, cause I need one for the dog. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. I sincerely appreciate you being here. Remember to sign up for the newsletter and please like and subscribe.